So once again, the striker curse in East London strikes. You know, it's it's just... We, we don't get this right, do we, West Ham? For whatever reason, it's a position we can never seem to get right. The best striker we've got at our club isn't even a striker. He's a winger, you know, and right back, God knows what else. Um, so, John Lucas Kamaka, this is obviously about... Um, uh, I'm really disappointed in the situation. People are going to, I've been criticised quite a fair bit um, from like, these videos on Skamaka. People seem to think I've got a sort of um, vendetta against him. I, I don't. I really like Skamaka. I think he's a really, really good player. And I'm hoping we still keep him and build the team around him as a part of me. It does think that, but I, I'm not convinced that's going to happen. Um, and, and, and we'll talk about it in this video. So, First of all, AC Milan. AC Milan look like a team now that are quite keen on Skamaka. Um, it's, it's, I think it's quite obvious from the outside of this that Italy, Italian clubs want him. Um, they're a proud nation, Italy. They like their their, te- their players to be, uh, you know, on, on the home soil. Really, they do. You will find that quite a lot. Um, and the fact he's their sort of main striker, that that I think that's the case here. I think there's a lot of teams there that want to bring him back, and I, I think the player does. I think the players want to go back there. That's my total outside of looking in. That's what I think is going on. So. Originally, it looks like Roma were keen to get a deal in to, to do a loan deal. Tammy Abraham um, has injured his knee. It's likely to be out for quite a period of time for that. So there was talk that Roma approached West Ham to do a loan deal, which makes no sense to West Ham. I mean, there's literally nothing West Ham would gain from that. I mean, at all. So there's no, unless it was, of course, they said, well, we'll give you, you know, 10, 15 million pounds for the season or something but ridiculous, but that's, that's not going to happen. So, um, yeah, that doesn't. I can't. I'm kind of. I'm kind of dismissing the Roma situation unless they're going to buy the player, which I don't believe they are. So, but AC Milan's an interesting one. AC Milan want to actually buy the player by, by all accounts, which is quite interesting. XWH employee is going to be providing more information on the situation, um, but it appears that he's on his way. That, that, that's what I'm seeing here. I don't. I don't see how uh, Skamaka is going to stay. Um, he isn't happy. I think it's been clear for quite some time that Jan Lucas. Jan Lucas Gamaka is not happy at West Ham. He hasn't really looked very happy for quite some time whenever I've seen him. There's an image of him, I can't remember what game it was, he was sitting on the floor in front of like the, the dugout, just looking so depressed. I can't remember. So people have to remind me what game that was. But I remember thinking of that. And I, I've talked about this enough, um, but about his certain thing, at things that he's done um, um, around the club and, and, and uh, you know actions that he's done that make me just think that he's not happy at all. We're going to get back to the video really shortly, but I just want to let you know this video is actually sponsored by NordVPN. Now, NordVPN are a private network that allow you as a fan to watch games from the comfort of your own home. You basically can change the region that you're in. It also allows you to watch films, TV shows, things like that. Now, the other big thing is it's also on travel costs. So being West Ham, where you're in Europe again, and also you might want to go on holiday, but you can also save some money on your flights and your hotels, things like that. It's really worth it. And look, for the monthly subscription, okay, it's less than a pint or a coffee a month. Now, if you go to the link below and use nordvpn.com slash West Ham way, you get four months free, completely free. And also after that, you get a 30-day money-back guarantee. So just click on the link, go on it, give it a try, see what you think. Anyway, back to the video. If you remember, uh, one of the key things that he did was he didn't show up. Um, well, sorry, he went to watch a Roma game when West Ham were in the semi-final of the you know against um, AZ Alkmaar in the the Conference League, and he was at a Roma game watching that game. Now a lot of people had a go at me for that. Go, well, he can do what he wants. He's a Roma fan, and I, I kind of get that. But what sort of what sort of commitment is that? I mean, your own team are in a semi-final Europe. You, you know, you could be a part of the final if you get fit, and you're not even watching it. I don't know. I didn't like that, and I think it was the Arsenal game, if I remember rightly. Um, well, at home when he was he, he arrived at the ground, Sky Sports showed him arriving, and then within about twenty minutes he got in a car and drove off. And apparently it's because he came in for a check or something. Or some ridiculous. I just, again, these just aren't good signs to me. Like, stay at the ground, watch your team play. You know wh- where are you going? I I just don't get the good impression from it all. I really don't. Um, some interesting things have come out about this as well as other clubs interested. We just talked, we did, I did a video um, about the Declan Rice thing for Arsenal. And the, you know, yeah, let's be honest, it's, you know, it's not easy, is it? Not a bit painful. But apparently Tottenham are interested in Skamaka and Arsenal, there was talk of as well, quite interested in him. I don't see that happening. I think that's something we can dismiss outright. I mean, as you say, I, I don't think the players, I mean, the player wants to go back to Italy. I don't think the last thing he wants to do is now go and move somewhere else. But having said that, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he likes London and thinks, well, I just don't fit in David Moyes' system. I don't fit in the West Ham way and um, the West Ham way of doing things. So, I don't I don't know. I don't know. Um 
I'm not sure, but I, I, I'm pretty confident that we wouldn't be selling him to, to a, a London club or Premier League rivals. I, just, I don't think that will happen. Uh, but talk is, from what we've heard to date from X, is that the player, sorry, the club would accept money for Skimaka if they can recoup the vast majority of what they paid out. It just feels like history repeating itself for West Ham, doesn't it? Like, how many more times is this going to happen with a striker where we buy them, get all excited and, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, if we can get our money back a bit, we'll try and buy somewhere else. It's like, oh, it's so painful, so painful. So many m- money we've wasted on strikers now. It's just, it's get- becoming agony. We've got to get this right. This, I mean, this director of football has got to get this right. It's a key thing this summer. Massive. Um, I don't think Moyes is very keen on the player either. I think that's quite obvious. I don't think he fits in. Um if you remember, uh, Mikel Antonio did a um, podcast. Um, I think it was, yeah, he did a podcast with some, on some channel, YouTube channel. And he was asked, and he was very outspoken in this. And I, I, I did think, don't really need to be saying this publicly, but you know, so what? Sometimes the truth hurts. It's quite nice to hear it, actually. A little bit, at least you get a bit of an insight of what's going on. But basically, Antonio confirmed what we've been suspecting that, and that Skyacker doesn't fit into Moise's system at all. He used the term "what well, he's you got to feed off the scraps, you got to battle, you know, you got you got to be up for a battle. You, and he ain't up for that. He ain't, ain't going to deal with that. I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but that's what he was saying. And you know, you have to kind of think to yourself, well, why have we bought him then? Surely you know these players. You know, you, if we're spending some vast amounts of money, in space, you surely should know what they're good at. And clearly, obviously, he's not good at that. So yeah. Very frustrating. Look, final thoughts on this for me, okay, Skamaka, in terms of the AC Milan. I think he's on his way. I'm not saying he's going to AC Milan. I think he will go. That's my gut feeling. This, well, I don't know enough about it, but my gut feeling is he will go back to Italy. Um, it's sad. It's really sad. I'm gutted, actually. I know people will think I've got some thing against him, but I've not. I'm really gutted about it if, if, if Skamaka doesn't work out because I was re- I had such high hopes. If you look back at earlier videos, I thought that we had like a, our Harry Kane was emerging here. A great goal scorer, great hold up play, he's strong, he's good in the air. I'm thinking this is exactly what we need. I, I actually wouldn't mind seeing him give another season. I really wouldn't, but my gut feeling tells me he's off. Um, but if it, it doesn't work out, this is a failure on all parts. Not, not only just West Ham, but Skamaka as well. I mean, he's picked the club. I mean, he should have looked into it better. I just think another mistake all round, really, um, if that is the, if he doesn't. Um, if he doesn't work out, history can't keep being repeated. Okay, we've got to get this right this summer. Director of football, Tim Stiden's the most likely candidate. This has got to be one of his top of his list. Get West Ham a proper striker that works in our system. It's got to be the case. Um, I'm gutted if that is the case, though. I am a bit gutted. I've got to be honest because it does feel like a bit of a joke now that we go from season to season, keep buying, be buying strikers and get rid of them, buying another striker and get rid of them. Is getting a bit embarrassing, especially when they go on like Hilaire to go and to show how good they really are. You're thinking, why is it at East London? It doesn't work out. But should he go? Then he goes, and it's time for West Ham draw a line, move on, and get the right striker in. 